Sarasota's architecture is considered unique to our environment, incorporating key features to the Sun Coast like the climate, the terrain, and of course, our gorgeous views. Ryan Gamma is a Sarasota-based architectural photographer, and he's joining us now to tell us about some of the uniqueness of this area. Welcome, Ryan. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. So congratulations. You are an award-winning photographer. I heard you've got a lot of accolades under your belt. Yeah, just recently. I was recognized by the uh, AIA, mm -hmm. um, particularly in the Florida and Caribbean markets. So. Wow. What's AIA? It's the American Institute of Architects. Wow, impressive. Yeah, yeah thanks. <laughs> so are you using some of the photographer uh, photography that you won with? Is it from this area? Yeah, most of it. Um, wow. uh, most of my clients are based here in Sarasota. And, uh, yeah, everything in my portfolio was from this area. Oh, well, that's amazing. So tell us what you submitted. Like, what's this right here? Uh, that's actually the, the Ferguson Alley House that uh -huh. was designed by a local architect named Guy Peterson. Um, he's quite popular in the area yeah. and uh, very accomplished. Um, that Beautiful. home's on an alley kind of directly behind First Street, so downtown Sarasota. So it's unique in the fact that it's a residence in the middle of downtown. Oh, wow. Hmm. I wouldn't have noticed that. And that's, that's the uh, new pavilion we're looking at um, with the historic section to the right and the new cantilevered section to the left that was designed by uh, Sweet Sparkman and that won uh, quite a few awards itself. That is beautiful too. Thank you. Oh, and I love are, this. Yeah, what is this one? That's a private residence in the uh, Sanderling Club, so down in South Siesta by Turtle Beach. And um, that was actually designed by Guy Peterson as well. Uh, I think it was built in 99 or 2000 and just recently went over, went through an extensive remodel of the interior. Mm. I like the way the roof I, lights up. Oh, it's beautiful. I the just like the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll move in any day. Yeah, right? <laughs> what about this one? This one looks like a, almost like a hotel-ish kind of deal. Yeah, it's, it, it's very modern. You know, uh, most of the projects I work on are modern. I, I kind of tend to, tend to do better photographing modern structures. It uh, just feels natural to me. Uh, this one was designed by Mark Sultana of mm -hmm. DSDG Architects. And uh, it's located down in South Sarasota as well. So when you were looking at some of these pictures, you know, I tried to figure out what makes the architecture here unique from other places. Well, I, uh, Sarasota has a, quite a legacy um, mm -hmm. with ar of architecture of, of all sorts, but in particular, modern design in residential and municipal projects. Oh, wow. um, from the Sarasota School of Architecture through to present day, we, uh, we have a lot of modern structures that uh, makes us unique in the fact that um, for a market this small, you, we see a lot of modern, which is uh, something you might be more prone to seeing in, my, say, New York or Miami or, or larger markets. So it, it, oh, for me, amazing. yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, I, I love photographing modern structures, so to be in this community uh, is perfect. It well, must be challenging, sense. though, because sometimes our light is variable. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, from uh, times of year, you know. Um, and particularly in the winter, the, the sun never gets that high and it stays in the southern sky all winter, so some structures just don't benefit from that. Anything oh. facing the north is, is challenging to photograph certain times of year. Oh, look at this one. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. Yeah, I, you know, I, that was a... It almost looks like a picture in a, in a picture, but it's like mm -hmm. real. Like you oh. can walk into yeah. it. Yeah. No, I love that. Thank you so much. I, I, you know, I, I'm fortunate enough to work with artists, you know, so it, it makes my life uh, a lot easier because I, I, I try to create art with, with what I get to photograph. and. And, uh, you well, know, they the, put the ball on the tee for me, I guess. You well, know, here's an interesting question. What made you get interested in architectural photography? Well, I, I love photography as a whole. I love photographing all sorts of stuff. But I know where my, my strong suits, you know, mm -hmm. my, and orchestrating people is certainly not one of them. <laughs> so I, I knew, like, wedding photography or family photography or going to the beach and doing sunset portraits, that just wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, um Architecture as a whole tends to not move, and there I can move around it, you like know. That. So you I have can put control. myself. Yeah, I, I can be in charge of myself, you know. Yeah. So I put myself where I need to be and move inanimate objects to fit better in the frame. But um, I don't have to tell anybody what to do. So I like, I like that. that. Idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And when you sell your work to? Uh, I'm mostly commissioned work by architects, designers, and builders. So, so they, you're already paid before you do it. That's yeah, good. yeah, to an extent, correct. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what neat. is this one we're looking at? Uh, that's actually a remodel of a home in Lido Shores. Um, that's like the interior hallway. Uh -huh. um, that was a, for another project for Guy Peterson. Um, one of my favorite projects. This home was not a large home by any means. And uh, it was just so well designed. You can see all the light coming in. And mm -hmm. It was just naturally a bright and beautiful home. And uh, just one of those spaces I, uh, I wish I lived in. And was that doll planned? 
No, the dog was, dog, uh, yeah. you know, around for the entire shoot, and, and the homeowner was quite funny about it. He was like, oh, let me know if I need to move her or anything. I said, no, let's keep her in the frame. I love it. It feels natural. Gives a sense of scale, and, uh, <laughs> and it's relatable, and like, you know? Yeah, the picture. Yeah. Such a little hair. He was like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's brilliant. my house. She's like, I'm going to give you something that's alive. Yeah, she, <laughs> she, 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 she was brilliant. She followed me around all day, and I loved it. It was great.